I am delighted to support um, Shelter's Rock Homes campaign. I think a lot of the time, because things are behind closed doors, we don't actually see what's going on. And I've been quite shocked. I mean, I thought I knew the, si knew the situation, but I've been quite shocked by some of the evidence that you've been providing on just what kind of accommodation some people are having to live in um, under private rental schemes. Um, I think anything you can do to raise the awareness of this is fantastic, and particularly because the people who are going to be stuck in these places often don't have a voice, and if they complain on their own, they've got an awful lot to lose. So it's great that Shelter's really providing a voice for a very vulnerable group of people. The main problem of housing issues in Bristol is, is lack of affordable housing, but also in many ways I think lack of strategic planning um, on housing available. I mean, for example, in, in my area of Bristol, in the northern area of the city, um, there's a real shortage of accommodation for young families. Now, a lot of the time, this accommodation is taken up by um, elderly people who'd actually like to downsize. And something that you know I've been calling the councils to do is, is build uh, bungalow accommodation for elderly people who'd like to live in a community that's a bit cosy for them, which of course would then free up some of the um, council accommodation for young families who want to move into it. So I think a better strategic view on what we're doing with affordable housing and uh, more affordable housing as well.